guys, my name is Ted, and today I have a special guest. His name is Logan, and you can go ahead and introduce yourself with your Xbox Live name if you want to, Logan. Hey, what's up? My name is Logan, and my gamer tag is I'm King Logan. Yeah. That easy. Um, the last commentary I did was with I'm King Beast. His name is I'm King Logan, so you can probably catch on to the trends there. Um, yeah. Oh. We're in some COD Four clan, but we kind of broke up. But we're thinking about coming back together, maybe from Black Ops. When it gets big, I'm hoping this map pack's gonna be pretty big. Especially that Nazi zombie map Ascension it looks sick, and I heard there's gonna be new perks and everything, and a new gun. Tell me they about released it yet. Tell me about the new perks, cause I, I really haven't looked up anything on the uh, new map packs at all. Really, I just looked up the names of them. But tell me a little bit about what you know about the new map packs. Well, I mean, the first map, Kowloon, has two zip lines. I mean, like, what, what's up with that? I mean, I saw. I actually saw a video on that. That did look cool. Yeah, I know, dude. So it's like you can get from the other one side of the map to the other really fast but in exchange for i mean like are there, are there going to be people like camping the zip lines you know yeah th th you know there will be well yeah, plus like, i mean i don't know if i'm gonna if i'm on like a 10 kill streak one away from doggies i'm not sure if i'm gonna go hop on the zip line and like yeah, fly know. across the map i mean yeah, even I mean, if i'm in a rush you know yeah I don't, I don't know if those zip lines are gonna be good or not i mean in search it might be something tactical there but i can imagine people just camping the zip lines trying to get dogs or a gunship on that and then this other map, Discovery, it has a bridge that blows up underground. Like it's so it's pretty much like you could snipe under there, but mm -hmm. somebody could just blow up the bridge in the middle of it, and you could just uh, like. What do you think about that? Ted? I don't like that. See, that, that seems to me kind of like launch, like you know that that little rocket on launch. Like nothing. Like I love launch. I think it's a pretty balanced map, but you got that rocket just blowing up in the middle of the game, and I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. It kind of it's, it's a little annoying. Like it was cool like the first time. But then it's like your whole screen just shakes. You can't aim, and it seems a little, a little much. Like too big on theatrics. Like Modern Warfare 2 was just they had nice maps, but they didn't have any stupid rocket blowing up in the background. I'm not sure yeah. if I like that very much. But I actually uh, on launch the first yeah. time I played, I was yeah. playing Search and Destroy, and I was just like playing the bomb, and I had no clue about the, anything about the rocket because yeah. it was like the first day. Yeah. And so like the rocket goes off, and I just like die. And I'm yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Man. Same same thing happened to me. I was trying to figure out. Um, it was, once again, it was the first day that it played. I'm trying to figure out why it says, uh, why I died in the first place, and then why it says I made some mistake. Like in the kill feed, it says, Big Ted, mistakes were made or whatever. I didn't figure out what that even meant. I'm like, what the heck? I didn't make a mistake. I was planting a bomb, and it, uh, killed me. So that was, wow. that, that was my, from right on then, I learned never to plant a bomb again in my life. So that's the team okay. player I am. So there's this other map called Berlin Wall, and it's pretty much East Berlin versus West Berlin. And then in the middle, it's just this open territory where anybody can just kill anybody. That sounds cool. So what do you think about that, Ted? That sounds like, um, no, I'm not a big COD 4 person, but I think the map was called Strike, or no, not Strike. What was the what was the map that had the two sides, like really ruined block. cities? Block, and then it had the yeah. tanks in the middle? Tanks? No, it wasn't block. I, I know oh, block. Oh, ambush. You're talking about ambush. Ambush, yeah. That's, it seems to me like ambush with the two sides of the city and then the middle, which is kind of like a free-for-all. It seems kind of yeah. like ambush to me. I don't know if any of my subscribers have ever played called for, but... On this map, there's no tanks in the middle. The ambush had three tanks for protection. Yeah, this, this map, one's just got nothing? Like, yeah, it's, it's got nothing from what I've seen of it. It has walls on the side, but there's nothing in the middle. It's just like this dead zone. And it, I think you can get through it pretty fast, but I mean... And you're probably gonna get shot, most likely. That sounds good for air support too. Get some guy trapped at B dom. Get some, yeah. get a chopper gunner raining over their head. I, I'm always in for a good chopper gunner. Um, yeah. what? Uh, go, go ahead. The, the other map that's just a regular game, not the zombie map. Yeah. It's called Stadium. Yeah. Someone, that's yeah. the one I'm excited about. That one looks really cool. Yeah, that one kind of reminds me of what's that one they released on Modern Warfare 2 in the map pack on the second one that had. It, it had like the streets and then you could run through the sides. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I know it was the Resurgence map pack. You had Carnival. You it, had. It wasn't Carnival. Don't, it's uh, Carnival's kind of like the stadium it, from what it looks like. Pretty close quarter combat, you know, run around the corner yeah. with MP5. Yeah. Or actually the AK74U in this game. I can't. It's funny. I can't even remember the map packs from MW2. I can't remember the. Like, I know those Bailout, Carnival. I can't remember. I haven't played MW2 in forever. Huh? Am I? Well, describe Bailout. Am I thinking Well, no, one? Bailout was the um the first one, the stimulus map pack. Oh. Uh, yeah, the research is... I really can't remember. I, I mean, I... 
give me two months ago, I could have told you no problem. But yeah, now I can't I, even I, remember. I know COD 4 maps like it's the back of my head. But Modern Warfare 2, I mean, the only map I really liked was High Rise. Yeah. Besides that. I think High Rise is everyone's favorite. Yeah, what, what do you think about that? Uh, well, as far as Modern Warfare 2 maps go, um, when they came out, I really didn't like them. But as, because you know, COD 5, in my opinion, always had the best maps um, for any Call of Duty. I really like probably all of them, to be honest. I mean, there's a couple I didn't like. The bigger maps, I, I never have liked any big, any big maps. But uh, COD 5 had great maps, and I played COD 5 for a lot of time. So when MW2 came out, I really wasn't excited about the maps. They, they were kind of boring. I liked the themes, but I didn't like the layout of them. And it's kind of funny how the generally the maps with the best themes, like a state, was an awesome theme. I mean, this big house, top of a hill, with a bunch of side houses and cars all over the place. It was an awesome theme, and I remember seeing it in a YouTube video before I actually owned the game. Oh, that map looked awesome. And then you play it, and the map was just too big. It wasn't really exciting. The house was the only point of action, really. And whoever dominated the house basically dominated the map. But in this game, none of the maps really excite me whatsoever. I mean, the themes of them are just, you know, war battle battlegrounds and such. And I really liked um, what uh, Infinity War did in Modern Warfare 2 with the whole, um, like, taking a normal setting, like a terminal or, like, a, the estate house. And turning it into a place where you can go have war at. And I think that's what Stadium's going to bring back. That's why I'm looking forward to Stadium so much. Because I heard it was like a hockey rink, I think. And it's just a, a, a big hockey rink. And I'm hopefully it's just going to have a big open field. I mean, honestly, that'd be cool. Like like maps like Nuketown and uh, that's uh, Firing Range is the other one I like on this game. There's a bunch of open places and they take place of an actual... Or they take a example of an actual place. Like there's... Like Nuketown is a place where they obviously back in the 70s they tried they tested out nuclear bombs and other bombs of that sort, and firing range just a cool place where the obviously police officers and army recruits test their aim, and I I really like maps that have themes like that, so I'm glad that they're bringing back maps like that. I don't think that the Black Ops maps, the ones that they have released now, I don't think they have much to them really. Like I think I like COD 4 maps like like Pipeline for instance. That wasn't my favorite map. But it had a, I mean, it had re like a really good underground. It had yeah. it on top. It I had remember three pipeline. Middle, on the sides of the map, it had everything, you know. Yeah. I think with this map pack, they're gonna put back some of those essentials in the game. Yeah. I feel like there's only one map right now that you can snipe on, and that would be array. Mm -hmm. And even on that map, it's not that great of a sniper map. Well, I did a little, I did a little bit of research. I did a little bit of research, and um, I found that, or I read some quote from, I think JD2020 on Twitter. And I, I'm, I'm not a big Twitter fan, but I do remember reading this. That he says that the maps are going to bring back a few sniper locations. Because, I mean, in this game, you, you really can't justify sniping in any way. Um, they've nerfed it, and th they've tried hard to nerf it. And it, it is realistic sniping, in my opinion. Like, they make it take a little bit more time, a little bit more aim. But um, there's no maps that really cater to snipers. And the, the map I'm playing right now, Jungle, is probably the most catering map to snipers, in my opinion. Because of the long alleyways. And Array, like you said, is also a very good one. But, I mean, honestly, you just can't bring a sniper rifle into a battle on Firing Range or Nuketown. I mean, it's just not going to work out in your favor. And also, they um, I didn't like how they did this, but it does put a realism into the game. With Modern Warfare 2, they did slide a hand pro. They mm -hmm. could quick scope. Yeah. But now, they took that essential out of the game, which I thought was a pretty fun part of the game. What did you think about that, Ted? Well, as far as quick scoping goes, I did enjoy... um the aspect of like getting in a lobby with your friends doing a private match and doing quick scopes because it was fun and if you had people that were really good at it i think it was a lot of fun the only thing that annoyed me a little bit was when you'd get on your team and you'd have the demolition like let's just take demolition for example you'd be on a demolition team and the game's basically saying okay here's the bomb sites this is the objective good weapons would probably be an smg or an assault rifle and then you got some guy with his sleight of hand sniper rifle running around corners doing 360s trying to be the next grizz and that would annoy me because there was basically no objective play anymore. It was simply people trying to run around the map looking for the next montage clip. And that's yeah. really been cut down a lot in Black Ops. Um, montage clips now, if you get a triple spray, that's pretty darn good in Black Ops because of the lack of stopping power. And things like that are more, uh, interest and more, <clears throat> excuse me, more interesting and a lot more easy to get in this game than a 360 sniper rifle would be. I mean, it's, if you get a 360 quick scope, it's not skill anymore. It's just that the... The randomization of the when you scope in and you shoot, and it goes at max spread. It's basically like getting a, a a no scope. So it's all just luck if you get a 360 no scope or a 360 quick scope. And I think people are realizing that on YouTube, and that's why there's less demand for it. 
Yeah, I really don't like how they took the sniper aspect of the game. I think of this map pack, they're going to put it back in. But we'll see how that just works out. Well, they'll finally yeah. include a, include places that you can actually use a sniper rifle, and that's what I like. Like, I, I think the sniper rifle it should be nerfed like it was. Like, I don't like Side of Hand Pro and such. But I think that they, if they're going to do that, they should at least make a uh, reason for you to use a sniper rifle. Either include long, like, viewpoints on maps. Like, Array has a bunch of long, you know, stretches where you can look down in a sniper rifle and actually do pretty well. But, um, and actually have an advantage over an assault rifle. But in 90% of the circumstances on, in Black Ops on these maps, you would do much better with an assault rifle than you would any other weapon. But let's yeah. go ahead and talk about the final zombie map. Um, we don't, we only have a few minutes left here. Um, I didn't read anything about it really. I just saw seen a few pictures of it. Could you do you have you do you know anything about it or could you explain it, some about it? It's called Ascension and okay. I mean I haven't heard that much. I mean it hasn't been really leaked, but I heard that there was gonna be some new perks on it that they haven't put on any other Nazi zombie map. So I don't know what that includes. I mean that could be I don't think it'd be flak jacket. I can I can imagine maybe scavenger possibly or something like that. Mm. Like wouldn't that be crazy on zombies? Like could you imagine? Yeah. Of, like, well, they'd need a, they'd they'd have to contain a need for um for ammo like max ammo drops and all. If I'm not as far as perks go, the only perks I could see them putting in there is maybe the pro perks. Like I think it'd be cool to have side of hand pro, and maybe steady aim too would be a cool perk to have in this game. But uh. I mean, considering you're just fighting zombies, you wouldn't really need flat jacket because I've yet to see a zombie pull out a frag grenade, and um, that was a joke there. <laughs> um, and I mean, you wouldn't really need um, stopping power because the zombies, I mean, they're already pretty weak compared to your guns, anyways. I don't know if they'd and stopping power really isn't even in this game as it stands. So I don't know why they'd give you another advantage over well, them. Well, they um they put in juggernaut on the other two maps, so they could put in stopping power. True. Possibly. Yeah, I didn't think about I, that. I, I don't see them putting that in though, because they didn't. They haven't put it in World of War, and they even had stopping power in that game, and they don't even have it in this game, and it wasn't even in World of War, so I don't see that coming back. But, well, it's all for debate. We'll know in about a day, because when the map yeah. pack comes out, I, I don't think I'm gonna buy it right off. Um, I don't know about yourself. Are you planning on getting it? Right when oh, it comes went, out, or are you going to wait a little bit? I straight after school. I got oh, really? 1,600 Microsoft points. I already have them on my account. You're going to buy it at Blockbuster? Uh, yeah, I bought them at Blockbuster. That's where I buy mine at. The oh, guy okay. knows me. He knew what I was buying them for. So I go in there, and I buy them. I get home. I got them on my account already, because last time I bought them for, I think it was the first map pack for Modern Warfare 2, mm -hmm. I got on there. I bought them the day the maps came out, mm -hmm. and I went to download them, and the Xbox servers were over from so many people trying to read yeah. the codes. Yeah. And so I, I had to wait like three hours before I got the maps. Yeah. So, so I went ahead and like already got mine a day early because I'm really psyched about this Ascension map. Because um you know how every Nazi zombie map has a special gun? Yeah. Like Duris on World War even had one. It was the Wonder Waffle. The Waffle, then, yeah. Yeah. And then Kino der Toten has... A Thunder the, Gun. Yeah, the Thunder Gun. And yep. then on the 5 map, they have... The howl. Yeah, the winter's howl or something yeah, the like winter's that. Howl. Yeah, winter's howl. It's upgraded winter's fury and it freezes them. Yeah. So I can't even. I can't even imagine. We have an electrical thing. We have like this vortex cannon, and then we have something that freezes it. Like yeah. I'm, I'm excited to see what the fourth one is. Yeah, definitely. Well, I know I love zombies, and if I do buy it, it'll be because of the zombies map, most likely. But anyways, guys, that is the end of the gameplay. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. The final score of this game that you've been watching is 137 kills, 11 deaths on jungle. And I think I had like two chopper gunners and another gunship backed up, something like that. I had a few kill streaks left over. Um, if you enjoy the game, please click the like button. If you hated the game, please click the dislike button. I want to know y'all guys' feedback. Leave a comment and subscribe if you want to uh, see any future gameplay of mine. And that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.